Hello everybody, in this particular video, I am going to discuss the one important point. When you do the root analysis, then only you get the good rank in JPET. So how you do the root analysis and what is the importance of root analysis or basic understanding of the concepts in JPET exam. I am going to explain by using this simple story. So this is the normal simple story. So you can see this is the grass. Okay. If you want to remove the grass in the agricultural fields, because when the grass is uh, coming in the agricultural field, it will affect the yield. So that's the reason when the grass is coming in the agriculture field, what they will do? They will use the pesticide. When you use the pesticide, again it, the grass will again come. So again, again come. So so that means when again again coming the farmers will do one thing that they will go and they will try to remove this grass from the roots itself so when they try to remove the grass from its roots itself then automatically the next time the grass will not come in the field that means the agriculture field will get the good yield because the this weed or grass will not again come that means what happened so when you use the pesticide what happened so the problem will be the peripherally solved so but the roots are still have the uh, capability of uh, regenerating. So what happen after some days or after one month, the grass will again come. So when you want to clear something or when you want to get some good result, it will take some time. But if you remove from the, this grass from the roots itself, you get a very good result. So you can see here. So what happen here? The when the, if you're also if you want to get good rank in GPAD, you need to be to go in depth. So in depth of the concept. So if you go with the peripherally, some very very peripherally, okay. So you also get some result. So if you see when you use the pesticide, the grass will be dead. It is okay. But when you want to get the good rank, what you need to do means you need to be go into the basics. Then only you get the good rank. So when you want to get the uh, permanent solution, if you come and take this. Slow, slowly, when you remove the plant by plant from its roots, grass plant by plant from its roots, then only you get the permanent result or good result. So, in case of your GBAT exam, also same thing will be applicable. So, if you want to get a very good result, so you need to be go into the roots. At the same time, when you go into the roots, you will take a lot of time when compared to the peripheral things. So, that is the reason if you go into the roots, please always be patience when you be patient and when you remove the grass one by one one by one you get the good results same thing will be happen to your jpat exam as well so when you are going in depth into the concepts it will take a lot of time but if you are patience you will get a permanent and very good result so that is the thing what i want to say so that means if you want the something good result and if you are going with the in depth concepts it will take time but you should be patient about it thank you have a nice day